Hi everyone, my name is Sarah McIver and basically I'm here to give you more ideas on enrichment for your dogs, especially since we're in lockdown 3.0. My aim is to get rid of the food bowl um, and give you more ideas of what you can do to make your dog's meals more interesting, give them some much needed mental stimulation and also encouraging those uh, really important natural behaviours such as sniffing, foraging and chewing. Um, so really hope you enjoy the next few videos. Let's get rid of the food bowl um, and let's make our dog's meal times a lot more interesting. Hope you enjoy them. This is a selection of some enrichment activities I'll be introducing you to, but let's start with the first one. So the first piece of equipment I'm going to introduce you to is the Kong. This is my go-to uh, for enrichment. They are so, so useful. So the Kong itself, it's made of rubber. It's cone shaped. It's got a large hole at one end and a small hole in the other. You can use these whether or not your dog is on dry food or wet. Um, I will show you a video shortly of one of my dogs uh, enjoying their Kongs. Uh, they get them quite regularly. The good thing about them, if you're um, putting dry food in there, you can really pack it in. Or if your dog has not used one of these before, um, always introduce new en enrichment by showing your dog how to use it. Now, I don't mean use the enrichment equipment yourself, um, but certainly showing your dog that you're putting food in there, perhaps holding it for them while they um, lick. Um, anything like that but we've just got to be really careful that we don't just expect dogs to know what to do um, especially if it's a, a novel item um, if your dog's on wet food um, you can again pop the wet food in there if your dog's not used to using a kong i would um, pop the wet food in there but quite loosely so they can easily uh, get the food out once your dog has um, enjoyed quite a few Kongs, then you can actually freeze them and that takes them quite a while um, to work through. So again, really, really useful uh, piece of uh, enrichment equipment. Um, and also you can have a look online and get really creative. They've got lots of Kong recipes on the Kong website. Um, so yes, this is our first piece of equipment to start getting rid of our dog's food bowl. Just a quick word on safety when doing enrichment activities. If you've got a multi-dog household, do make sure that you separate your dog so that they can enjoy their enrichment activity on their own without feeling any particular um, anxiety um, or competition uh, from each other. I really hope you enjoyed this first video on uh, types of enrichment. It should be a part of your dog's daily routine um, and let's try and get rid of these food bowls. Do let me know if there's any other topics that you'd like me to cover and if you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.